me welcome back to another best of the decade today we're going to be talking about top 10 comedies of the decade of course my list is going to be different than your list because film is subjective and we're all going to have different opinions you know i find a lot of the really cheesy movies to be really funny that a lot of people just are like that's the dumbest thing i've ever seen you know what that's the type of movie i like but with that said, let's go ahead and move on with my number 10 pick, and that is 2010's Death at a Funeral. Chris Rock, we got Maureen Lawrence, we got Tracy Morgan, we got a bunch of people in this film, and I'm just, I was so here for it, you guys. I mean, it's a funeral, somebody possibly dies at this funeral, maybe they thought they were dead, not necessarily, and they try to, like, cover up a body. I just find it to be very hilarious. I mean, it's not like a knee slappy type of laugh, but I do laugh a lot when I watch this. And in ninth place is another 2010 movie, and that is Easy A, because of course, Easy A is gonna be on my list. It better be on a lot of your lists because it is so funny. It's just, I mean, Emma Stone before she was like Emma Stone, because now she's like this big like Academy Award winner. Every time I hear that damn song about a pocket full of sunshine, I start thinking about the movie. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, I bust out with, I've got a pocket, I've got a pocket full of sunshine. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Don't lie, because you probably have done it too. Like this video if you did that. In my number eight spot would be 2016's Keanu. Because, of course, like I said, I love ridiculous movies. If they're, of course, made in a certain way and to me this really hit the spot for me i loved it i mean everything that they do for this cat is just so ridiculous i mean you guys when jordan introduced the kitty to keegan he's like this is keanu and was just with this face like oh my god this is my baby and then keegan just literally like loses his mind he went off and did like this amazing like photo shoots with the damn cat i mean and then we get, of course, like the bad guys who come and break into the house, steal the cat, and now these like thugs don't want to give up the cat, and they go in and try to get the. I mean, it's just ridiculous, you guys. And I was totally here for it. I was entertained throughout the whole film. I have rewatched this movie numerous times, and I'm always laughing. And coming in seventh place is another ridiculous movie, 2013's This Is the End. Again. I know it's ridiculous, I know it's not the best movie that there is, but this is my list. It's of course the end of the world apocalypse type of movie. We're seeing it through the movie star's uh, eye. And then we get a lot of like cameos in there that I was totally here for. Uh, Emma Watson was one of the main ones that I was like, oh, I totally dig that you're in this movie. We get Michael Sarah, who I have such a huge crush on. I don't know, there's something about Michael Sarah, you guys, that I just find so freaking hot when this movie came out jonah hill had just got nominated for an oscar so they of course played on to this these actors were just literally playing like a different like obnoxious version of themselves unless they really were playing themselves because some of these people i honestly don't put it past them that this is just really how they are in real life and they put on a different persona for the public eye and in sixth place is another 2010 movie i gotta say 2010 had a lot of really good comedies and this is uh, the other guys who stars uh mark Wahlberg and uh will ferrell i'm gonna go ahead and take this moment to just share some very shocking news that a lot of you are gonna be like <gasps> no you didn't and i'm gonna be like yes yes it's these are all facts you guys i am not a fan of will ferrell and i find him very annoying and i just don't like i feel like he's too old to be acting the way that he acts and i i can't deal with it you guys i really can i really try because i have seen some of his movies and some of them are are not as bad but i mean i've seen elf a few times i'm not even going to be like yeah i've only seen it once but every time that i watch it i'm just like why why I am a fan of Mark Wahlberg and honestly I was here for this movie I've seen this movie so many times again not the best but I really enjoyed it I Will Ferrell was not as annoying as I assumed he would be and honestly I kind of wish that we had got an, uh, the other guys part two instead of had got a second part to daddy's home 
which I have seen because again, I am a Mark Wahlberg fan. So before we get to my top five, here are a few honorable mentions. Honestly, due date almost made it to my top 10, but let me know down below what you guys have on your list for your favorite of the decade. So let's go ahead and get on with my fifth pick and that is another 2010 movie, Date Night. I mean, could it get any better than Tina Fey and Steve Carell? I mean, these two people are just absolutely fantastic. You put them together and you get Date Night. And I freaking love this movie. It's just so hilarious. Every single time I watch it, I'm always laughing. And I just love how they kind of always go back to the whole, you stole somebody's reservation? Like, who does that? Like, seriously, like, there's people that are trying to kill these couple, but we're worried about a reservation. You know, the journey that they go through to try to clear their names and find out other truths. And Mark Wahlberg comes on in this movie as well. So this got good doll. Of course, we got a little Taraji P. Henson in there and I love me some Taraji. So coming in fourth place would be 2019's Good Boys. Oh my God, you guys, I died with this movie. It's kind of like the mini version of Super Bad. These kids go through to try to get to this party so one of them can kiss the girl because of course, it's always about kissing the girl. My favorite part is possibly the, the paintball scene. I think that was just like something else. I mean, not only was it neat slapping funny, it literally brought tears out because that is just how hilarious this film was. If you haven't seen Good Boys, you guys, I full on recommend for you to watch it. And you know what? Be part of the Beanbag Boys for life. Coming in in third place would be 2013's Haunted House. Because I have to have a Marlon film in here. And I just love A Haunted House. It's a parody, obviously, to Paranormal Activity. And a lot of other ones, but the main focus is Paranormal Activity. It does have a little more of a darker sense. This part two, I feel that kind of pushed it a little bit too far for me and they just added way too much in there. I mean, I laughed a lot and I really enjoyed part two. Not as much as part one and I wouldn't classify that one to be best of the decade for me personally. So I mean, it more than likely it's not on your list. All right, so my last two movies are both from 2018. Coming in second place would be Game Night. I mean, it's a whole murder mystery party that just goes wrong. I mean, when he was being kidnapped and everybody's just there, like pretty much enjoying the show. It's so funny when the guy got basically, you know, sucked in through the airplane and Rachel is all like, yes. And it's like, oh no, he died. And then Gary, he's just so creepy and weird. Like not only is he a weird neighbor, but like a cop. And I mean, literally the things that he goes through to become part of his, his game. I mean, he literally flips it for them. And I just love how this couple and the group of friends generally just get together to play these games every weekend. Like, I want that in my life, to just have like a game night. I really can't have that because I'm very competitive and I hate to lose, so I want that in my life, but it would be best for me not to participate in that. I literally stop the game. Like, it's like, I'm done. Like, and I get serious, you guys. I literally will be the one that just like flips the game over and be like, fuck you, and like walk off. I don't think I've ever done that. If I've done that, I don't actually recall because I was possibly like just seeing red. Let me know down below if I ever did that. I don't think so. All right, moving on with my number one pick on what I consider to be the best comedy film of the decade, Life of the Party. I find this movie to be so hilarious, you guys with their Google and Melissa McCarthy. I mean, I freaking adore Melissa McCarthy. To me, she doesn't really do any wrong. I feel like I feel the part is absolutely hilarious. When it came out on DVD, I bought it and I've rewatched it so many times as well. So yes, for me, Life of the Party is the best comedy movie of the decade and I know many of you disagree. I don't care, this is my list. But you know what, let me know down below what your list looks like. What do you consider to be the best comedy movie of the decade? Again, there are no wrong answers here. Nobody's list is wrong. We all have different opinions. We all have different tastes. Before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye.